Okay, here, here's this part two. Now, this is for the about the Anunnaki. Okay, now if you're still paying rent when the Anunnaki come, they're telling you that this is what they're trying to tell you. That if you're paying rent, then you're still into religion. And if you're into religion, then you're you're lost and you're gone and there's no hope for you, then they can't bring you aboard on the ship. Because the reason why they're going to bring you aboard on the ship is to take you home so that you can help other planets that stuck like ours. And if you're a coward here, then you're a coward everywhere. You, you can't. You have to be reborn again. So they're going to stomp you out to be reborn again. So they're going to, you know, take the soul out of the body, put it in a container, and, and take, you, take you on the ship. But you're not going to be in the body because you have to be reborn again. I, I know that sounds really, really crazy, but, we're, you know, we're at a time where, you know, uh, the, the, the the train derailments is there now in the in northern California and in pr pretty much everywhere now they're turning the you know the creatures into real creatures where we can physically see them where we have to sh might end up shooting them on sight because they you you know they have to come you you have to bring them a reason for the Anunnaki to come you got to give them a reason for the Anunnaki to come and pick up these people these creatures and take them away. We have to physically be frightened of these things where it's like you you have to run or you got to fight or kill these things. So that's what I'm saying. Just stop paying rent because they just want to see what level of anger you're at. That's all. That They're not going to, you know, put you out because they know they're creatures. They just want, because see, creatures want to know what level you're on to see if you're ready to murder them. Because if you're ready to murder them, they're they not coming to you. They're not going to evict you. They're they going to ignore you like the old hag bitches ignoring me. Because I'm on that level where I'm going in there and I'm, you know, I'm ready to go ahead and murder her now. Watch this. Okay, watch this. Who's fighting? I'm a river. Worldwide. Every day of Thursday. These are flesh-eating predators from other star systems. Here, as hunters of exotic creatures and animals. Okay, so what he's saying is that the white people are creatures and animals. They're, like they're mutated creatures, just like the white man, scientists and doctors, is telling you, and Charles Darwin is telling you that he's upset that he's the creature and we're not. They're mad because they're the creature. And they're trying to figure out, how, well, how come they're the creature and we're not? It's because, because, because you were made as a creature. And that's just what the fuck it is. And you have to get down on your level. And how dare you be in any office to run anything? This is why the Anunnaki is coming to... You know, to, you know, they're already, okay, now the Anunnaki is already here. How they're here is that they'll set up shit to make them die. They'll bring Fauci into existence. They'll bring the trail derailment to make the air where they have to be quarantined now. You see what I'm saying? Because they're going to turn into the thing. Because if they took the boom booms, they're going to turn from that, from the chemicals. They're turning the people into real, real creatures where we have no choice but to either run or shoot. It's, it's getting to that point, Okay. this down uh 10 years ago about the darrows the big ear these are the white men that you see the white men that you see walking around they are genetic from the darrows fat funky people they are genetic creatures underground um ooh, uh the um yp i'm not gonna say the name okay but anyway he break that down you know what i'm talking about just look at the darrows when he breaks that down i think he broke it down they're creatures, and they're, that's why they got to go, okay? Because time would be of the essence. A willing thing all grab, and all you can eat, and all you can eat, smoke is born. And a ruthless, unencumbered savage. I'm sorry, it was, yeah, uh, Young Pharaoh breaks down the Darrow. Did he break down the Darrow's? I think Young Pharaoh broke down the, the Darrow's, the long nose white people that I broke down on Facebook a long, long time ago. I broke down all the alien invasion and all of that 10 years ago. Blood 
go ahead and laugh. What he's saying is that the Anunnaki is coming to remove these creatures off the planet. Now, if you're if you're if you're uh, paying rent to these creatures while they're coming today, and they can see you paying rent, and you don't know what to do, and you just all you got to do is just stop paying rent, just stop paying rent, because all they want to know is what level of hatred are you on? Are you on a level where you're ready to kill? If you're on that level, then they not gonna bother you because they got to go anyway. Because we're, well, I'm on that, I've been, well, I'm on the level, I stopped paying rent because bring, bring your sheriff and we'll see. You see what I'm saying? I'm on that level. You understand? You got to be on that level. They're not going to bring no sheriff because the sheriff is a creature and the, and, the, and the creature knows he's a creature. So he's actually, actually ashamed. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. They're not, that's why they're not saying nothing because they are retreating. They're retreating and they're looking at themselves uh, as the abomination that, as they should. Why do you think the bitch is silent? She ain't give me no congratulations letter yet. You know what I'm saying? She's silent because they're all man face caring. All of them. It's like, damn. The world by the and your permanent weapon would be Listen, you're not going to to hit the fan fifth is where you finna get you have your superpowers and you're able to not even you don't you're not gonna be using no gun I'll tell you that right now you're not gonna use no guns or none of that you're just gonna you know because your body is going to be where you can just you know you can whip up a little fireball and just throw it at them and it'll, it'll you know you'll have that we're gonna have that power but this is the, the female she is the one you better listen to her she is telling you that and, and listen carefully to what she said she said the ones who are religious, they don't have no hope. But then she said, even if you're not in religion, she's talking about the ones who is still holding on to these creatures and you paying rent and you faithful to it. You, well, I got to pay my rent, girl, because I don't know what to do. I, see, it's no hope for you because you're too fearful. You can't be fearful. You got to be reborn again. So the Anunnaki is coming to stump out. And she's talking about black people, you know, indigenous people who are gone. She not, you know, because the black people have already be gone already by the time the Anunnaki get here. So, well, no, what I'm saying is they're going to be uh, move, removing them right now. They've been removing them right now when Fauci came. But now it's escalating more because when I said, uh, okay, Fauci, you're going to have to have the, her to take the shot when she, before she go into the office. And then he sent me a link and said, oh, we got something far worse than them. We got something far worse than, than that. Boom, boom. So I'm like, hey, good, good. I'm dead serious. They, I, they left me a link. He, they not playing. They finna get rid of their own people. She is saying that the Anunnaki is coming to stump out black people who is not. So like I said, this is the personification of galactic judgment. So this is uh, this uh, lady right here mm -hmm. is going to be giving you guy. her dream interpretation about everything that I'm saying, right? So everything is going to come to pass. That's why a lot of people been having a lot of these prophetic dreams 
a lot of people have been having a lot of these visions because, like I said, evolution has to take place. Mm -hmm. Ascension has to take place. It has to. You know, you have to be mentally and spiritually prepared to, for everything that's going to be taking place. Yeah. So I'm going to be breaking down everything that she's saying while she's giving you uh, everything that she's saying and that she's seen in her dream verbatim. I'm going to try to do this a little slow okay. so that I don't forget anything. Excuse me. So I just had this crazy ass dream. So I gotta say it right now. Okay. And so the dream was like Judgment Day. And she said Judgment Day. Excuse me. I'm trying to speak loud enough. Um, the dream was like Judgment Day, but let me just tell you that it is not how we are taught or what anybody else has even had the concept of, like, it was freaking crazy. And in the dream, I was living in this kind of gated community, and there was... The promised land. Somewhere, and there was um fun stuff to do. I don't know, it was like people who live on Disney Road, Disneyland or something. Disneyland. Like, um, there were so many things around, so many buildings, a shopping mall and grocery store, all kinds of stuff inside this community. And there was some sort of parade or something. And mm -hmm. I was outside with some friends. And the weird thing is, I was married to Terry Crews. I'm not sure why he was in my dream. Because I wasn't watching anything with him in it or anything. But I was married to him. And he was cheating on me, but I kind of didn't care. Because I just don't care. <laughs> but he, um... Yeah. yeah. He wasn't there. He wasn't anywhere on this particular um, in this community or whatever. He wasn't there at the yeah. time it was happening, so he wasn't aware. But anyway, we're, I'm standing out there with my friends, and all of a sudden, from far up the road, because oh, people shit. are coming down, just, you know, walking down. It's more like a festival than a parade, let me say that, because people are walking every which way. There aren't floats or anything coming, so it's not a parade. So, um... I'm walking somewhere with my friend, and we're checking out stuff, and then all of a sudden, these things, not things, but they come into the community and they just start killing people. And as they're killing people, they're shouting out sins. And everybody starts screaming and running and going crazy and it gets so chaotic. Um, I'm going to probably put what they were saying Ooh, as they were killing it's people. It's thundering and lightning all of a sudden. Hold on. Sorry, it's loud. I'm sorry. I'm okay. All of a sudden, at the clear blue, I just raining cats and dogs in this. Ooh, it's snowing. Oh, that's hail in California. That's hail. Cuba, Cuba, Cuba. Oh, damn, I'm gonna have to turn off the damn video. Hold on. Call my son right quick. Let me just pause this right quick. 